Coming up, we'll be on location at White Lotus Acupuncture in Arlington, Virginia, discussing the benefits of acupuncture and how it can effectively treat many health problems with one of this region's top acupuncturists, Kathleen Fraser. Ms. Fraser received her national certification from the prestigious NCCAOM in acupuncture and completed her master's degree in acupuncture from the traditional acupuncture institute and is widely recognized as one of this region's leading acupuncturists. Welcome Kathleen, it's a pleasure having you on our program. Oh, thank you Rocco, thank you very much. Well, it's your first time in fact on the Top Doctors interviews. Mm -hmm. We have a lot to talk about, we've got a uh, patient or two joining us a bit later, mm -hmm. but I wanted to begin, if I may, Kathleen, by having you tell us how long acupuncture has been around to treat health problems, because I know it's been around a long time. Yeah, <laughs> yes it has. Um, it is a very well-respected medical practice, and it's been around for thousands of years. Very well established and in the Eastern Hemisphere of the world in China, um, Japan, Korea, Vietnam. Um, so thousands of years doing acupuncture, herbal remedies, addressing lifestyle issues and nutrition. That's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, like you said, it's been so well established over centuries and centuries mm -hmm. on, in the Eastern Hemisphere. And over the last several years, it's become very well accepted here in the West as well. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to ask you, Kathleen, if you can please tell everybody how it works. What are people looking at? Because okay. we, we're, we're envisioning those needles yeah. and we're thinking it's maybe only for one or two types of problems, like maybe yeah. an injury, but that's not the case at all. It actually helps people with a lot of different problems. Yes, and, and I agree. It looks very mysterious and it looks very strange. And after treating people for 21 years, I'm completely amazed every single time. Um, acupuncture is based on a couple of theories that one, there is energy within us. Everything that is alive has energy and we call that chi. It's the vitality that runs within us. Um, and it runs along certain pathways of energy on our body. There's 14 main pathways of energy and those are the pathways that we needle on. Um, and we manipulate the chi. When the chi is abundant and flowing, we have energy and we have vitality. Um, when it gets stuck, when it uh, is deficient, it becomes, uh, we become symptomatic. So it's correcting those deficiencies or that stagnation and then that repairs health. Very healing. interesting. And I understand there's uh, five elements involved here as well. Well, that is the concept that our bodies are completely organic. They're of the earth. So that we have the five elements of nature are expressed within us. We have uh, fire, earth, metal, water, and wood. Mm. And each internal organ is associated with one of those elements. Like the heart is the fire within us. That kind of makes sense. Um, the kidneys are associated with the water. Uh, the stomach and the pancreas are associated with the earth element. The wood is the liver. Um, so they kind of have a good relationship with the elements there. Yes, and it all works together for the whole of our being, our person. Right. Exactly, because if, if something is going on with your stomach, if it goes on long enough, eventually it's going to affect other organs, especially the organs that are close to it and working in concert with it like the liver or the gallbladder or uh, the small intestine, large intestine. Very interesting. Now that leads me to my next question, Kathleen, and that is how are the acupuncture treatments performed? Well, they're performed, you, you lie on a treatment table. Uh, the acupuncturist will take your pulses. They may check, check your tongue. Um, they will palpate the area that's uh, in discomfort they'll ask you many questions regarding your health and how you're feeling. Um, when they insert the needles, they're gonna put them very, it's gonna be a very shallow insertion. Um, so it's not past your skin level, there's no blood involved. Um, 
you might feel a little bit of a pinch. Uh, you might not feel anything at all. So you put the needles in and they'll probably stay in for about anywhere from five minutes to 20 minutes. Um, and then the needles will come out. The practitioner will take your pulses again, ask you how you're feeling. And these typically the, the practitioner will treat one side. Sometimes they'll treat both sides. Um, so at, by taking the pulse, we'll assess whether both sides need to be treated. Now, can you please tell us, Kathleen, what health problems acupuncture can address? Because a lot of folks mm -hmm. don't realize you are talking yeah. about a myriad of problems from big to small and in between mm -hmm. that can be treated effectively through acupuncture. Well, and that's true. There's quite a diversity of symptoms that can be addressed. Um, anywhere from digestive difficulties, gynecological disorders, uh, back pain, um, headaches, migraines, depression, insomnia, uh, the effects of chemotherapy uh, is quite a large list. And that, in fact, the World Health Organization lists quite, quite a few uh, diseases and symptoms that it effectively treats. And I wanted to ask you, are there any limitations uh, to who can be a candidate to receive acupuncture treatments, mm -hmm. like any age restrictions? There's, there is no age restriction. Uh, infants are treated, elderly mm -hmm. are treated, and all ages in between. Interesting. Now, how do you diagnose and determine which types of treatment will be necessary for your patients? How do you mm -hmm. customize the right solution for each individual's needs, in other words? When diagnosing an individual, we look at uh, many things. Uh, we look at the color, uh, and that sounds like a funny thing because it's not the color of somebody's skin. It's actually the vitality of their skin that we're looking at that speaks volumes. If they have an illustrious skin, that means that energy and blood is moving effectively within their body. We look at, we listen to the sound of their voice. The sound of the voice speaks volumes. If somebody has a very um, low volume in their, their voice, there's very little energy, very little power, mm. that speaks to the rhythm of the lungs. That's gonna tell us how the lungs are functioning and whether they're taking in enough oxygen is there enough power to vocalize? That's one example there. Uh, we look at also their emotions. How do they move through their emotions? Um, all emotions are normal. Anger, happiness, grief. These are all normal things in life and we experience them every single day. What is most important is that we can move through them and we don't get stuck in them. Because if we get stuck, then that has the capacity to cause physical disease within us. It also ha can habituate the body in a very negative way uh, that life is not working um, mm. if we get stuck in an emotion. And then we can become very unresponsive to what is really happening in our lives. Oh, very well said. Some very good points indeed right there, mm -hmm. Kathleen. And that leads me to my next question. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure a lot of folks are at wondering this right now as we speak, especially if you, uh, from what you said a few minutes ago when you said small needles, mm -hmm. is there any pain associated with <laughs> acupuncture and the treatments? I, I'm, mm -hmm. You said earlier it's minimal, if any, but can you please elaborate a little bit? Sure. Um, when the needles go in, you might not feel that, or you might feel what we call the dachi. It's when we're getting the chi. It feels a little bit like a descending feeling, um, and it dissipates. So it's only on the insertion of the needle, and it will dissipate. And actually, when the energy starts moving, you'll start to feel a release in your own body, a release of any excess tension or tightness. And you can feel your body deeply, deeply relaxing. It will also quiet your mind. Mm. So you, you experience your mind clearing and also uh, releasing any excess tension or tightness. Can patients experience results from, say, even their very first appointment, or is it mm -hmm. over a period of time? Well, both. I always expect a degree of relief in the first session, uh, even if it's as much as the person relaxed, because I think that's pretty much what everybody wants. You know, in the course of their day, they want to be able to relax at some point. So, and that starts to get the blood and the chi moving correctly in the body. Without relaxation, we're in a state of excitation all the time, and it's abnormal. Mm. 
So that's a degree of relief. Also with pain, I expect a degree of relief as well. Um, that Wonderful. you feel a shift. Now, are these results permanent that people are going to experience from mm -hmm. their acupuncture treatments, or, okay. it, or or does that not apply to some types of problems that you may treat? Well, we treat people, and we give it s at least six to eight treatments once a week, sometimes twice a week, depending on the severity of the symptom. Um, and each treatment builds one on the other. It's a little bit like working out like that, mm -hmm. where the first treatment we kind of get you moving in the right direction. The second treatment builds on that, and then we support that with each additional treatment. And as the symptoms subside, we see the individual uh, less frequently. Yeah. So maybe every other week, maybe third, every third week. Um, and that segues into most uh, a course of treatment, which is maybe once a month, once every two to three months, uh, just to kind of keep things moving correctly. Yes, indeed. We're now going to meet a couple of patients of Kathleen. Welcome, Erin. It's a pleasure having you on our program. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Well, we always appreciate it when patients take time in their busy lives to come down and share some of their experiences with us. And on that note, I'd like to begin, if I may, Erin, by having you tell us what brought you to Kathleen. Sure. Um, well, I have uh, been a fan of acupuncture, I guess I could say, for a number of years. and. As I was looking for a practitioner closer in the Arlington area where I could um, more regularly uh, uh, have my treatments, I found Kathleen based on a recommendation and began seeing her in 2011 and pretty much every week <laughs> since then. Oh my goodness, so you've been actually coming for a few years now. That's correct. On a regular basis. Very regular. And do you mind telling us uh, what some of the problems have been that you've been able to treat and correct for you? Sure. Um, well, as I often will say that a lot of times with acupuncture, it's not a one specific thing that you might go for. There are a number of different things that acupuncture can help with. And I think truly, since I've been here for so many years, I've seen Kathleen for a variety of different reasons. Um, first was just sort of overall uh, physical health and well-being. Um, I had had a thyroid disorder. She was able to help with um, you know, getting some of that a little bit more regulated, um, particularly in support of uh, hopefully having a child. Um, once I was pregnant, I then saw Kathleen every week throughout my pregnancy and afterwards um, in terms of that support. I've seen Kathleen for, for everything from, I have a little bit of a headache, can you help me? to I've got an ache in my back. Um, it's really one of those treatments where I find that if you find the right person, the, the right practitioner that kind of understands how your body works and how to um, help you, it can be such a beneficial uh, relationship to undergo. Yes, indeed, and obviously uh, it sounds like you're very pleased with the results. Absolutely. Um, I really, I recommend acupuncture to a lot of different people. Um, I work as an executive coach with leaders that are constantly trying to find the right kind of physical and mental balance to sustain themselves. And, and we look at acupuncture as a way to um, both create the physical environment that's needed to be successful, but also really bringing in that kind of that mental balance as well. And I, you know, I find it very effective and highly recommend it to others. Well, on that note, we'd like to thank you, Erin, for joining us, sharing some of your experiences and being a guest on our program. It's my pleasure. Thank you for it's having me. It's our pleasure having you. Welcome, Louisa. It's a pleasure having you on as well. Thank you very much. And I wanted to begin by asking you as well, what brought you to Kathleen? Well, I was referred to her by another care center in Arlington that I had been going to for many years for various joint problems. And they thought very highly of her. And I consulted her and was uh, amazed at the benefits of acupuncture. Uh, I'd had it once or twice in the past and really didn't have any opinion one way or the other. But Kathleen brings a lot to the experience. She has uh, training in several other disciplines, so her level of care is a little more uh, refined, shall we say, than some of those previous acupuncturists that I had visited. 
Mm, and in your case, if I'm not mistaken, you actually reside in Maryland. I do. So you, you take the trek from Maryland over here to Arlington, Virginia on a regular basis. And if you can please tell us why. Well, we are adjacent states, but it's a bit of a, of a few extra miles to come over here. And I have been to acupuncturists in, in Maryland and California as well. But uh, Kathleen brings so much in its experience in so many modalities that I appreciate the level of attention that she's able to provide. She has a little period at the beginning where we consult about feelings and where our mind is and our attention and what we're worried about as well as what our body is expressing. And I value that level of uh, participation by the yeah. practitioner. And that's why you've been coming here. Yes. That's wonderful. And can you please tell us about some of the types of uh, issues that you've had treated through the acupuncture treatments? Well, uh, the main thing I uh, came to her care for was uh, tingling in my left arm, which probably came from uh, excessive computer work. I'm a web designer and okay. wiki manager, so I'm on the computer all the time, plus my own personal uh, computer activities. And so I was getting tingling, which is a, a neuropathy effect, and there are ways to deal with it, and one good way to, to attend to it is through acupuncture. And initially I had two or three visits a week, which is a lot more than maintenance level, and then for about a month, and then after the symptoms really declined and disappeared, I continued for a maintenance level of attention uh, because the acupuncture gives me such uh, better energy and better uh, balance in my life. Yes, indeed. And before we let you go, for all the folks watching, anything you'd like to add? Well, uh, I think it's best to try out your practitioner a few times before giving up on acupuncture. I think uh, let it let go three or four or five times before you say it's not for you, because uh, once you you have that space and that attention from a practitioner and have developed a, an atten attentive relationship, uh, that can lead to increased benefits over the years. Well, on that note, we'd like to thank you, Louisa, for joining us and sharing some of your experiences and being a guest on our program. Thank you very much for having it me. It was on. our pleasure. We're now back with Kathleen. I must say the patients seem very happy with the results. In Erin's case, she's been coming to you for years. Mm -hmm. And that's where the relationships really start to develop over time. Um, and people gain an understanding that uh, colds can be treated, flus, um, headaches, digestive problems, um, fertility. Many symptoms can be treated. Uh, it has quite a diverse effectiveness. Now we're literally out of time, Kathleen, but mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you before I let you go, you and your practice, White Lotus Acupuncture here in mm -hmm. Arlington, Virginia, have certainly established a reputation for excellence. You're a top acupuncturist in this region. Mm -hmm. uh, you really care for your patients. Uh, you obviously have an excellent reputation in patient care as well. I just wanted to ask you what you feel helps separate you and your practice apart from the others. Sure. Um, acupuncture here at White Lotus is a very personalized experience. Um, I treat one patient at a time. You have my full attention. Uh, we're going to look at treating your symptom. We're going to look at nutritional recommendations, uh, lifestyle recommendations, exercises you can do to help strengthen your body, to help create mobility. Uh, your whole body is treated your whole body, mind, and spirit is treated. It's and on that wonderful. note, I'd like to thank you for joining us, sharing your experiences, mm -hmm. and educating us, Kathleen, and being a guest on our program. Uh, well, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much, too. It was our pleasure. We'd love to have you back on in the future. I would love to be here. Thank you. <laughs>